Hey YouTube, it is uh, Tuesday, January 22nd. This is my second video for the day. Um, this video, okay, so I had my surgery on the 8th of November 2012. So it's coming up to three months now. And um, I haven't had really any hair loss until now. And I've lost 45 since surgery and 70 in total. So, um, my starting weight was 270, and as of today, I'm 201.6. So, I mean, I haven't lost 70 in total. I'm just going to round it up to 70 because by the time I post this video on Thursday, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be down like a pound. So, 0.6, whatever. So, basically, I'm, I'm not in Wonderland yet, but on Thursday I will be. So, <laughs> um, I'm determined, okay? <laughs> so, um... I've had a lot of hair loss lately, and I do not like it one bit. I put my hair up, so I, I didn't cut it. Like, I haven't lost all, because I usually have my hair down, so. Um, yeah, I, I haven't cut it at all. It's just falling out everywhere, and it's freaking lovely. Um, when I, okay, so when I'm in the shower, I, okay, so actually what I first noticed that when I get out of the shower, when I go to brush my hair, it is extremely hard to brush it because it just keeps nodding and I don't know if it's because there's not enough elasticity in my hair but it's like I have to grab a hold of it I'll show you I'll have to go like like it will be down but I'll have to grab some of my hair and go like this and like yank it I mean it's brushing really nice right now but like when I first go to the shower when it's all wet I will literally have to grab each side of my head so, like separate my hair I will have to like yank it like yank at it and I'm like that see even when I did that you can't really see that maybe you can hold on put this black thing up nope that makes it worse oh yeah you can that's just from doing that and I didn't yank it because it's smooth and it just goes right through right now um but I've had a lot of issues with that so I tried changing shampoos and conditioners, like I went from using Sun Silk to Dove, and I tried tried that, and it didn't really make a difference, so I switched from Dove to Tresemme, and I bought this, uh, what kind is it? I don't know what kind it is, but it's like a, it was some expensive mask, it came like in a jar like this big, and about that round, and, um, it's supposed to like, add elasticity, and vitamins to your hair because obviously I'm not getting my vitamins in like enough well I rarely eat I mean I do I do eat but I mean I feel like I rarely eat because no that's not true I feel like I always eat but before the surgery if I would have seen the portion size that I eat now I would have been like oh my god am I I'm gonna starve myself because like even now like I went out for my little sister's birthday dinner with uh, my family, and I ordered quesadillas, but I didn't, I, I ordered the appetizer plate, and I asked for chicken in it, so chicken quesadillas, or quesadillas, or whatever you want to call them, and I can only eat one, and I was like, I mean, I was struggling to eat one, I was like, oh my god, and then I got so tired, because I was eating, and I was like, oh my god, anyways, back to the hair loss, it's really bad now, like, I was like, wow, I'm pr pretty sure I'm going to be bald soon, like, any day now, but, um, I, I asked my surgeon last time I seen her, um, I don't, like, about biotin, because I heard about biotin for your hair and nail growth, and she says, honestly, she, people come in her office all the time and ask for it, but she says, it's not going to work, because you're going to be taking vitamins anyways, and biotin's not going to work for you, and if I have a lot of friends who take biotin, say it works, some say it doesn't do anything for them, so I guess it really depends on the person, but I think I'm going to go get it because I really love my hair and I don't want anything bad to happen to it. I already had a hair mishap about three years ago. Um, I bleached the absolute shit out of my entire head and it fell out. Like literally my hair was, was like down here, like you can't even see on the screen. Like, it was past there, like, down here. And when we cut it, because it was so, like, 
after I, I can, because I bleached it three times within like two days, which is really bad, because I wanted the platinum ass white blonde. And um, I used to be that when I was little, like when I was growing up, I used to be that, and I went stupid and dyed my hair dark. Not that there's wrong with anything, not that there's anything wrong with having dark hair. I just um, went through a phase, I guess. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my my hair completely fried, and we cut from down here up to here off. I had a bob. I looked like I looked like someone put a bowl around my head and decided to chop away. Like it was bad. Like for me, anyways. Like I don't have anything against people with short hair. But I mean, it, it just does not look good on me. It really made my face look round. <laughs> and I mean, it was. I was 270 pounds. I mean, I had cheeks coming out to here. Like, <laughs> the, growing up, like, in my teenage years, my sister would always be like, I love your chubby cheeks. They're so cute. I just want to pinch them. And I'm like, oh my god, you're going to kill me. Like, I do, I, I mean, they're I think they're normal now, but I mean, before I looked like I had like tennis balls stuffed in my cheeks, like right here. It would just be like out to here. And with a bowl cut, I mean, it just, it was just ugly, let's just say that. So, I mean, I don't even know where this conversation was going. I'm kind of off topic now but back to the biotin anyways um yeah let me know if you guys what you guys take for hair and nail supplements or whatever because um i was gonna go get biotin but if anyone knows of anything that works like i don't um i've been told biotin doesn't work by my surgeon anyways so but i mean if you know of anything else or if biotin actually does work tell me because i'll go get it in a heartbeat <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, um, another thing. I'm also finding my skin is really freaking dry all the time now. And I don't know if it's because I'm not getting all my nutrients in or what not, but I, I use, like, actual Vaseline. Like, um, comes in, like, a jar, like, that big. And I put it all on my face for, like, ten minutes and then um I went to wash it off and it is the hardest thing to wash off don't ever put Vaseline on your like a, a lot of Vaseline on your face because I couldn't even get it off like I put it on and I think I used like a whole box of Kleenex trying to scrape it off of my face and then I got it all in my hands and I'm trying to wash it under water and it's not coming off so I went out and I bought uh, um Bas this lotion Vaseline Total Moisturizer Dry Skin Pure Oat Extract Three Moisture Layers Multi-Layer Moisture Whatever But yeah So I bought this one And this was $10 But it was on sale for 7 And I don't usually pay $7 for moisturizer Like our dollar store here has um, I don't have it here But our dollar store here in Cambridge Like Canada has um a way moisturizer like the sample ones they're probably i don't know they're probably like that big it will last me like a good month if i used it every day but they were they're only a dollar so i was using that but um i seen this one on sale i was like okay it has vaseline and i loved when i put the vaseline on my face because it was really really smooth but i hated the fact that it took me 27 years to take it off so um, I bought this one because it has Vaseline in it, but it's okay. I've only used it, like, a few times now, so. Yeah, um, other than that, um, what else is new? What else is new? Um, still moving everything in here slowly, as you can tell. I have a lot of clothes. That's a dresser full of clothes. That over there is a rack full of clothes and I have another one on this side of me. And then what my iPad is standing on right now is a six dresser drawer unit thing with a big giant ass mirror. 
and I still don't have room for all my clothes. Like I got bins over here. I have a clothing problem. But um, they won't be uh, getting me for much longer, so which means I get to go shopping. <laughs> Yay, spend more money on clothes that will shrink on me. Or not shrink, will be too big on me. I will shrink. <laughs> Hopefully. But um, yeah, so I think I've been saying for the past like four videos now that I'm going to be uploading that picture video. And I haven't yet because I've been so busy and I don't have the time of day to do anything. Because like school and work. And I have no social life so YouTube is my social life. <laughs> There's something else I was going to tell you guys, but I can't really remember. Oh, it's gone. No idea. Anyways. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Um, I'm officially off. To, uh, okay, no. I was taking about five different me prescription medications for my health issues. I don't want to say over the internet what they were, but now I'm only taking two. So I was really happy about that, like really happy. And one of them is just for panic attacks, which rarely happen. So I mean, I don't. Basically, I take one medication now instead of five, so um, that's good. Because the one I was taking, um, I don't need to take them anymore, but the one that I was taking every day for two years made you gain weight, and that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm really happy about that. I'm only taking one every day. I, s I still have to remember to take my vitamins, and it's the silliest thing, like, they're sitting upstairs on my kitchen counter, and I keep forgetting to take them. Like, how hard is it to remember to take a prenatal pink pill every day? It's not that hard, and I keep forgetting to do it. So I have, like, a baggie full of these prenatal vitamins that I'm going to carry around with me, so if I, when I'm out, I'm like, oh, crap, I'm going to take my vitamins today. Oh, yeah, it's in my purse. But, yeah, so, um... Feel free to comment on my videos. I get a lot of like inboxes instead of comments. People will inbox me asking me stuff or like comment or email me with compliments. Thank you. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, but yeah, I've had like a few people. Oh my god. I think it's almost five in the morning now. bed yet and I don't plan on it until much later today but um yeah I bought a top in Ardeen's not too long ago um because I really liked it and it was a large and I'm like in Pennington stores at this time I was like 3x in tops and now I'm a large <laughs> so I was happy about that. Well, I'm, a, I'm a large slash extra large in Ardeen's, which is this cute little like boutique clothing store for like little kids. Not little kids, but like preteens and teenagers. Just cute girly stuff. But they have some really cute clothes in there, so I bought a shirt and I fit in it now, so yeah. Anyways, um, th these two videos are going to take my iPad like a year and a half to upload. Because this one's going on 15 minutes. The other one I think was 10 or 11. So I'm going to go, but I'm going to make my three-month post-up video on Thursday because that's when I go see my surgeon again, and then I go back on Friday, which is so stupid because it's all the way out of town. So I have to go there two days in a row. But I will make my video um, when I come out and let you guys know what's going on. Okay, bye guys.